Harry Potter, pitter patter, pitter 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 patter. Patter, your mama. Okay, ten seven 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 three. Hello and welcome to the stream. Uh, Twitch now tells me I am live. Um, I found someone streaming Return to Zork, and it looked really cool. So I thought to myself, uh, why don't I do a, a Return to Zork stream? Now, of course, you're thinking, hey, wait a minute, this has nothing to do with your previous streams, except maybe that one stream, Monkey Island. No, it was um, it was automated AI, the uh, AI dungeon or something. Um, but you know, I felt like doing it, and it's it's my party, and I'll cry if I want to. It's my stream and I'll play with whatever the hell I want to. Uh, so this is going to be a little bit of a break. Um, I have played this, uh, like, um, I watched someone play this and I did play this myself um, briefly uh, earlier, but only for a few minutes, so I've not gotten very far in the game. Um, and I've also not, the person I saw playing didn't get very far. So this could be interesting. This could also suck balls. Uh, one other thing we're doing here today is we are I'm trying to use, uh, trying to make it so you guys can hear the audio directly instead of going through my headphones. Um, that may or may not work. And if it doesn't work, this game relies on sound. You can't, you can't do a text. Um, you can't do like text. Um, you can't have it do like captioning, unfortunately. So anyway, so let's get started. So the first thing we want to do, of course, is mount to drive D. Um, I put this in the, we're, we're not on a VM, the VM will not support, um, unfortunately the VM will not support sound, I mean I'm sure it would if I tweaked it enough, but my VM, I couldn't get sound working on it, so we're going to play this directly on my machine, uh, inside of a DOS box, and it's possible that I will expose something I shouldn't be exposing, I don't think I will though. Okay, so now we just go to drive D, RTZ is to start it, and there's going to be a little bit of a gap here as it begins, I'll talk you through it. Okay, so now here we go. Here we go. Black is beautiful. Uh, which, okay, ooh. Yeah. So you should have heard the Infocom Thunder if you did not. <laughs> the audio quality is not fantastic. This game is from the 1990s. And I think if I do this, I can now, I'm now inside, my mouse is hit the button. Okay, I think we can get rid of the credits if you hit. Okay, I don't know if you can, you can, I don't think you can move yet, even though it looks like you can, you can't actually grab, ooh. Here comes the vulture that's going to give you the, uh, and then the message from the old guy. This is about how far I've gotten. Hey, hey, I've been talking a long time. I sense movement. I need a new battery. Can you hear me? A new battery. Okay, so that guy needs a new battery. Uh, we can pick up, I don't think we can pick up this rock. We can pick up this rock. And this is like about as far as I've gotten. Pick up, ooh. Can I throw rock at the eagle? I didn't, never tried that. Um. Examine rock, talk to vulture, show rock to vulture, throw rock at vulture. Oh, Jesus Christ. Nice. Why is there a two here? Okay. So now we can read the sign. Valley of the vultures. Um, if you click on the sign, I think the guy comes up and talks a little bit. This used to be called the Valley of the Sparrows. It's had a name changed recently. Okay, the music, it turns out to be really obnoxious, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. There's no way to turn it down, but we will obviously keep the, uh, the, um, we have to keep the audio. If you turn it off, you still hear voices. So I'm going to now try to get this bonding plant, um, let me see if I can get it into my inventory directly. Okay, you can't get it that way. I think we have to pull it out by the root. Yeah, yo mama, can I take the sign? Nope. This used to be called the Valley of the Sparrows. <laughs> it's had a name change recently. Yeah, kind of a bummer, dude. Uh, oh, what can I do with this? Examine? Let's take a look at it real quick. Okay, well that's not... That was... Oh, no, your mama! Drop it, nope. Put it in my inventory. 
Let's do that for right now. Okay, and now let's zoom out. There's a way to do this. There we go. And the save and stuff, by the way, is like way up here. Okay, so we've got a rock. We've tossed it at this guy. We are free of Mr. Vulture. I'm going to go ahead and save because I... Uh oh. What the hell was that? Just some wind picked up here. Okay, save. Um, and I like to save using um, dates. So it is 11.33 a.m. here in the city of Albuquerque. In case you didn't care. Okay, so now can we do anything else here? I think we're pretty much done here. I cannot, I don't think I can uproot the sign. So let's go ahead and go down this lovely valley. Come to this lovely lighthouse. I don't think we can pick up the vultures in the sky. Um, and if you go to the lighthouse, this is about, this is getting close to the, here we go. I think we need a lighthouse. Ask that old fool how the road to the south is. Okay. So let's go ahead and ask the old fool, which I assume is this guy. It is nice to have a game where um, the audio is worse than my own personal audio, the way I speak. So lot, lots of stuff to do here. I don't know how much of it you can... Well, okay. There's a window up here. Ooh. There's a lantern. Uh, usually the, the hand will turn into something useful if you can do so. There's a window. There. I think we're gonna have to we don't want to go up the stairs yet. We want to talk to this keeper guy. Is, can, we talk, can we take his chair? No. Keeper. What do we want to do with him? Talk to keeper. Just it's a good thing you knew the password. It's not safe out there. Okay. Those buzzers will steal everything that's not nailed down. Sticky fingers. <laughs> I'd say magnetic. The other day, one of them flew by and my shovel flew off after it. What, are you just going to stand there like a marble on a flathead? Hey, hey, pal. I'm talking to you. You okay? Okay, so flatheads, by the way, it turns out, are the people who are stupid in this game. Uh, the buzzards are, of course, the vultures, and, okay, now what do we, can we talk to him about? Talk, ask about it. Oh, let's go ahead and talk to him a little bit more. It's a good thing you know the password. It's not safe out there. Those buzzards will steal everything that's not nailed down. Sticky fingers. <laughs> I'd say magnetic. The other day, one of them flew by and my shovel flew off after it. Down the road to the south, east and west Shanbar used to span the northern river. But his shambler just up and disappeared, and West Shanbar just went south. Well, actually, it didn't just disappear, it sort of, you know, gradually disappeared. First the inn, and the general store, the Murdoch's place, the theory. Even half the bridge is gone. You look up there. Runs on illuminite. But you don't know what illuminite is. It glows brighter than swamp gas. Okay. What happens if we talk and threaten him? It's a good thing you know the password. It's not safe out there. Those buses will steal everything that's not okay. nailed down. Um, so, I don't know if that actually does anything here. Can you... It's a good thing you know the password. It's not safe out there. Those buses will steal everything that's not nailed down. Sticky fingers. <laughs> I'd say magnetic. The other day, one of them flew by and my shovel flew off after it. What's your problem? Oh, all right. Take it easy, will you? Everybody's that age around it. Be calm. I'm calm. See how calm I am? I'm calm. I've been having dreams. Those dreams, horrible dreams. Morpheus to keep saying. Down the road to the south, east and west Shanbar, used to span the northern river. But East Shanbar just up and disappeared, and West Shanbar just went south. Well, actually, it didn't. I'm going to assume that, uh, expressing different moods isn't going to help him much. At some point, we do need to ask him about the road to the south. Um, and I do have these tape recorders so I can replay... 
Well, let's see. Let's ask him about this thing first. Okay, good. Okay. 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 Now, I know you can ask him about the map, but even though it's in your inventory, you have to do it this way. So you can ask him now about... Let's go ahead and ask him about the road to the south, since uh, you know the guy told us to do that. The road to the south. Impassable. Absolutely impossible to pass. Impassable. Okay, but he's an idiot, so he could be wrong. So let's ask him about the lighthouse where we are now. You look up there. Runs on illuminate. But you don't know what illuminate is. It glows brighter than swamp gas. Okay, I think that's just where we are right now. Mountain Pass. Let's ask him about the Mountain Pass. Okay. Lighthouse. Road to the south. Um, west Sandbar. Whoa! He talked about that earlier. Can we ask him about the river? Why is this... Is there another page here? No, I guess that's just to get rid of the map. Okay. So we've done our duty and asked him about the road to the south. We've asked him about our inventory. Photos. I don't even... Okay. No, not more double negative, pal. Ah, ha, ha, double negative. I get it. It's funny. What is this? Okay. Clearly something is going to come of these, maybe. Or maybe not. These, these are old games. So this is actually... Um, everything the guy says is recorded. I, I have been to this point. Um, and what's interesting is he won't talk about uh, this recording or the second recording. <laughs> the hell was that? He will talk about this one, though. I think we need a lighthouse. Ask that old fool how the road to the south is. The road to the south. Impassable. Absolutely impossible to pass. He's probably... Impassable. Yep, got it. Impassable. Okay. And then end conversation, or... Let's see if there's anything else we need to talk about. The good thing you know the password. No, it's no, no, not no. safe out there. Stop talking. Um, okay. By the way, we will not be doing Pomodoro today. Um, well, we should, but I'm not going to. Partly because it's really hard to get out of this, um, uh, I mean, you could do Control F10, I think, and you do get out, but, um, well, I'll tell you what, we won't do it this time, we might do it next time. Now I've got to get back in, kind of a pain in the ass. Alright, so, can't get that, can't get that. He's kind of stupid. We will go upstairs in a sec. Can't do anything with this, can't do anything with this. And that was back the way we came. Alright, let's go up the stairs. Uh, I guess he doesn't mind. Can we turn? This looks like a very awkward angle. But anyway. Uh, real, can we... Can't do anything with this now. Uh, that probably means we can do something with it later, right? That's that's my definition of can't do something. All right, nothing going on there too exciting, so let's go back over here. I guess we're going to have to leave the lighthouse for now. Come back anytime. You bet, I will. Let me know if you find any extra aluminite. I can use it. Okay, so we want aluminite. Uh oh, here comes this guy. That old boar. Oh, oh, that reminds me. Did you hear the one about the apple? <laughs> <laughs> about the appetite of the wild boar <laughs> in the forest of the spirit. <laughs> okay. Um, so we can go back to where we came. And we can go over... Oh, I think this is all back the way we came. So let's see if we can go forward. I want to go forward without going to... Oh, I guess we'll just take us next to the lighthouse. And now let's continue on the road to the south. Clearly, um, impassable, as the guy says. So we are, let's go ahead and save our game, actually. Um, and this save will be called, shall be dubbed, 0125, oh, okay, 25.1142. Every, like, eight minutes we should save. I, that, I just made that up. Okay. So clearly we should, this is the place we should not be going. On the other hand, I don't see any other place we can go. Um, 
to find that guy's battery and to find a luminate. I'm going to turn off the wind sound effect. It's really annoying and it doesn't really seem to help us any. So we'll still get the text set. We'll still get the talking sounds. There's no way to get rid of those. Okay. Now we are in this. There is a way to speed up and slow down the ooh. Oh! Oh, you sons of bitches. So I did die. So is this going to take me back to the beginning? Oh, wow. I really didn't like that. Okay, so we're going to try to load the game. Good thing I saved. Okay, now I'm trying to get... Oh, come on, I want to get past this crap. Ah! Yeah, we, we get it, we get it, we get it, we get it, we get it. Take me to... Okay, now we're just gonna... Oh, come on! Hey! Hey! I've been talking a long time! I sense movement! I need a new battery! Can you hear me? A it. new battery! Yeah, I don't wanna have to go through this every fucking time. I wonder if you can start with a, uh, with a saved game I I by giving it as a... Okay, so road to the south, nothing can survive here, not even me, sons of bitches. So we're going to go back here, over here. Ooh, that's not the road to the south. So this is the road to the south. This is walk around the uh, lighthouse. Wood planks. Can we go through the crack in the wall or is that just taking us back where we were? I think that just takes us back where we were. Let's go around here. Um, it's the river over there. Can't go anywhere here. All right, let's take uh, pick up wood planks. Too heavy. Okay. Okay, we uh, we have to pull these out, I guess. Yep. Ooh. So I think I'm gonna have to use my inventory now. How the hell do I do that? There we go. I think we can use this. Um. Throw bonding plant. Um. Can I use bonding plant with the vines? Ooh. Look at vines. Pick up vines. Put vines in your inventory. Throw a bonding plant. If I examine bonding plant. Pull out vines. Well, let's look at the vines. They're not very exciting, are they? Okay. Why do we still have sound effects? Hang on. Oh, because they didn't turn them off again. Continue. Let me turn that off before I get too sick of it. No sound effects. No... No, no. I guess without sound effects the music wouldn't be too bad, but you can't hear people talking. Okay, so we have vines here. And not like, you know, the movie kind of vines. We can't seem to use them on anything. So let's go over here to inventory. Uh, we should put them back in inventory. Pick up Teleorb. What can I do with this? No, that's what I meant. What does the teleorb do? I don't want to throw it at anything. Put vines in inventory. I don't. I can't get them. They're too. Yep. Can't get it that way. Oh no! This takes me back to my inventory. Let's see what I can do with the with the orb. Uh. Look at vines. Pick up vines. Pull out vines. Examine teleorb with a dead battery. So this is the guy who's trying to talk to us, but the battery is, uh, apparently it's dead. Okay, is there a window here? Aha! Uh -huh. We can go th through the window, I think, unless this is just taking us back to where we were. What happens if we go through the window? Nope, 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 don't want that. I'm gonna put the orb back in, yep, back in my inventory. Can we go through this window? No, it just takes us back the other way. Okay, what can we do here? Wood planks, vines, there's gotta be a way to use these up. They're too heavy. 
I wonder if I need to drop stuff to get them. Um, pull out vines. And we tried this before. Yeah. Wood planks. You can't look at the wood planks, interestingly enough. Um, and you can't even look, play with this thing here. Um, so let's look, let's see what's in our inventory. We might have, oh, what is this? Hell yeah! Let's use the knife on the vines. Um, cut vines. Yeah! Now we can use the vines, the vines, the vines on the wood plank. I'm not going to throw them at anybody. What can I use the vines with? Okay, can I use them on the rail to crawl over? Oh, hang on. I'm going to assume... I can't interact with anything that doesn't have a little fingery thing on it. So the only thing that's over here that I could use is the wood planks. So let's see... Uh, can I cut the wood planks? Maybe? Um... Ah, here we go. Tie vines on wood planks. Yay! I am so smart. Um, sailing, sailing over the boundary main. Something, 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 something. I am so darn smart that I can solve a game that was built in the 1990s. Okay. They see me sailing. Okay, should we go to the bridge? I guess we probably should get off this before we die. Or let's go ahead and save our game. Let's save this. It's not hammer time yet because we don't have a hammer in our inventory, but it will be hammer time soon. Let's go ahead and go to the. Oh, no, 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 I didn't mean to do that. I, did I mean to do that? I think we went. Yep. I. Yeah. That's, I didn't. I meant to get on the bridge. So. Haha! -ha! One second save before. So screw you, Zorkos. Okay, so bridge, bridge. So these all go to the bridge. So that's obviously we want to get off this death coaster. Hey! Well, fuck the... What does this two thing mean here? Anyway. Well, this is nice. We have a, um, a thing. Four buildings. And I guess this is... Th they don't tell us what they are, but I mean... Let's go to the post office. I think this is the post office. Town Hall. Mayor's office. Um, I guess we should talk to the mayor. Hey, mayor. I'm here to make your life... Well, a new constituent. I'm the mayor of Sambar. Glad to meet you. I hope you're registered to vote. Have you been drinking with booze, Miller? If you just came to look, go over there and look at the file. They're open to everybody. <laughs> They might learn something. Well, a new constituent! I'm the mayor of Sambar. Glad to meet you. I hope you're registered to vote. I used to have less time on my hands when the town was bigger. I'm still needed. <laughs> the lighthouse keeper and I have worked out an anti-vulture warning system. Ooh. Can't seem to get it to work yet, though. Does it matter how you talk well, to Well, a new constituent! I'm the mayor of Sambar. Glad to meet you. I hope you're registered to vote. I beg your pardon, but you are a guest in our town. I got it! I'll call the sheriff. I will. I'll lock you in a cell with a glue. Stop it! Okay, I will in just a sec. Okay, so we threatened him, didn't really help. Well, a new constituent! I'm the mayor of Sambar. Glad to meet you. I hope you're registered to vote. I used to have less time on my hands when the town was bigger. I'm still needed. Maybe you'd like something to read. Those files are the repository of knowledge gathered through the ages. Mazes and adventurers have left their marks in there, as well as quite a few good recipes. You know, my wife has a good one for... <laughs> Go over there and make yourself at home. That's just weird. Um, what happens if I'm apologetic? This well, is, uh, a new constituent. God damn it. I'm the mayor of Sambar. 
Glad to meet you. I hope you're registered to vote. I used to have less time on my hands when the town was bigger. I'm still needed. The lighthouse keeper and I have worked out an anti vulture warning system. Can't seem to get it to work yet, though. Okay, apparently being apologetic doesn't do anything. So what is... I can't get to this thing. Aha! Uh -huh. For two... <gasps> Ooh, there was something that... Oh, that's just the mayor. All right. For three... Oh, nice! So this is, I guess, a little, um... Little, uh, reading here for us. I'll read it al out loud, because I am streaming. The descendants of these fearsome canines finally became domesticated in late 1646, or whatever this time period they're using. They're still quite ferocious and not to be trifled with, as they've been crossbred with the best guard dogs from the major pi r squared cavalry. These guard dogs are indigenous to the area surrounding the road to the south and share the natural features of all that hail from that region of the world. So they're from the place where I can't go right now. Previous page, next page. The crossbreeding is a drop in sales of purebred following circulation of vicious rumors started by the Poodle, poodle Guild. <laughs> the Guild spread word that pure hellhounds could now become invisible and now the only warning one had of an imminent attack was the sound of their bark. Of course, only an orc would be so gullible as to believe that kind of nonsense, but sales dropped anyway, and the crossbreeding program was instituted. Okay. Wow. The descendants of these fearsome canines finally be... Okay. Okay, good. So we, we only have two pages here, and I assume this clip... Let's go back. Okay. Magic Tiles. The perfect game for manipulative people usually comes in sets of 9, 12, or 16. In each set, all but one piece is visible until the correct arrangement of wor words is achieved. Okay, and there doesn't appear to be a next page here. So let's go and, um, I like the night laugh, baby. Suspender, haha, <laughs> it's like September, but it says suspender. Uh, 1647. Night spelunking with E.R. Rooper, a whole new way to look at underground caverns. That might be useful. Starlight motorboating, not much exercise for the passengers, but a wonderful view of the tree homes. And there's more. Continuing. Dancing nightly at the West Shanbar Vacation Village. Walk-on stand-up contest at uh, Chuckles. Big prizes nightly. Okay. Group sing-alongs under the moon in the Forest of the Spirits. And after it all, get a good night's rest at the Inn of Ice Enough. Uh, sweet dreams. Okay. Okay. And so that's it for this. And like I said, we are, I am going to go ahead and, ooh, what the hell is that? Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. No, 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 be gone. So we'll go ahead and just get, go back over here. Okay, uh, Pomodoro back in two and two. That was a false alarm. That was not the Pomodoro pop-up. That was another pop-up telling me to ignore that pop-up. All right, let's go back over here into the game. Uh, refuse or refuse. Probably refuse. The newly installed incinerator from the Everblast Company is equipped with the latest technology for burning any type of refuse. Due to the intense heat inside the furnace, only one drawer or hatch should be opened at a time. Aside from avoiding possible explosions, this technique will ensure complete combustion without excessive manhandling. Okay, only one page for that. Illuminati, which is like Illuminati, but not quite. The recipe for this surprising drink has been misplaced. However, it is known that this drink can only be contained in a metal container. Containers made of other materials will behave unpredictably, which might be fun, actually. Okay, so that was pretty boring. Um, can I read some? I cannot read the ones that don't have titles on them. So we will zoom out. And now we will look in... Oh, what the hell is this? We can always go... Whoa. Yo, mama. Hey, can we not go upstairs? Anyway, drawer two. Jesus Christ. Plants. Hi Among the rare, rare high-altitude plants of the bottom plant found in the mountain passes around the Valley of Sparrows. We have one of those. Dead one. This plant is often found in your science. While scientific research has never verified its relationship to humans, it is widely believed that this plant creates an emotional bond with anyone who finds and removes one. While good mental health won't invigorate a bonding plant, this seems to plant seems to wilt and eventually die 
when its master becomes sad or depressed. Okay, it's already dead. It has also it has also been said that uh, a wilting and dying plant can sadden its master prematurely. The most remarkable of all is that this bond between these plants and their masters is not limited by physical barriers. Cases have been recorded where a plant has wilted and died from a saddened master in another continent. Okay, so we're getting some clues here that maybe the um, the saddened, wilted piece of shit we have could be useful. The plant can be considered a perennial as it will gr grow anew about just about any time of the year. Once bonded with the human master, it will never sprout again in the same spot as long as it continues to exist, dead or alive. So we might be able to plant this thing. Uh, okay. Now this is going to be a lot of reading here. Toasting. Uh, exerted from a treatise by ba Booz Miller. The traditional Shambo ritual toast consists of four steps. Here's to us, who's like us, damn few, and they're all dead. That's a fun, fun little chant there. Before each sentence of the Shambar toast, the host offers the guest a glass of some drink, rye, wine, etc., but not Illuminati. The guest then suggests a toast. The host then recites the next sentence in the toast and raises his glass. The guest <laughs> drinks first while the host waits. Finally, the host drinks his glass and begins the ne next step by offering another drink. Jesus Christ! The first two or three steps of this intricate drinking ritual with our highly patent, l potent local rye is enough to make you drunk. Getting past the third step is the key. Remember, don't drink and drive. Okay. Well, this is getting kind of boring, actually. Um, muses. Ancient Muses of the Arts. Sculpture Garden built around 960 Gu is a shrine to the six ancient muses of arts. Eoj, Mit, Seer, Mik, Selrock, and Zila. There's another page. Although it is known which muses are associated with which art, many believe that the following odd verse is somehow germane. Oh dear God. Bog down, bog down not with your staff, but return to throw, lest the vessel of sight miss your boxing helmet and your brilliant defense to hit you in the orb kicker. I think I get a vague idea what that is. The seventh kneeling figure is not believed to be one of the original muses and is simply known as Lib the Catcher. Is this a baseball team? Um, uh, interesting. Okay, it is now Pomodoro time, but because I biffed it the first time, we're going to skip it this time. Give me a second, though. To tell it, I'm going to skip it. Okay. We will, I will go the next time. Not that you care, but I will. All right. So that's enough about muses. This game might become so boring I might have to stop. Gazpacho, which is cold soup. Six medium-sized tomatoes, one or two cucumbers, two medium onions, handful of fresh basil, shallots, which I think are onions, two red bell peppers, and, oh, there's more. Chop fine and blend with three eggs, one half cup red wine vinegar, half cup olive oil, half, one and a half cup tomato juice, dashed fresh ground pepper, dashed cayenne pepper, refrigerate three hours, because it is a cold soup. Okay. I hope they don't expect me to remember all this. Frobosigia. I don't even know what that is. In oh, Encyclopedia Frobosca. Oh, because this is Zork, after all. The abridged version of this encyclopedia, edited by Nino Ruffini, contains an incredible amount of information on the great underground empire. Unknown persons are attempting to rewrite Zorkian history and are circulating a revisionist version. The Guardian is roaming the countryside and confiscating bogus versions. The true abridged version has some alphabetization errors. Interesting. Uh, the abridged version of this encyclopedia edited by... Okay. Okay. Great Diffusion. This event caused the end of the Second Age of Magic in 1247. All magic and magical devices, whether mechanical or enchanted, were dispersed into the atmosphere with the hope that evil magic would be vanquished forever. Most wizards and mages lost their powers in the process. Well, that was a terribly bright move now, was it? Okay. Dwarven Sword. The legendary weapon was last known to be in the possession of Ma Madame Mudok after being passed down from generation of simple peasants and adventures. It is said to have been blessed by in every generation by the holy women of Bel Nair. Like Bel Air? When in good repair, this fabled sword glows blue in the presence of danger. Regardless of its condition, the sword is unbreakable. The dwarven miners now claim the sword as their own, even though it was formerly owned by the elves. Okay. So this almost makes me want to program again. Long life spell. Spell cast to ensure long life. 
Duration Unknown, the spell was cast by the Mage Canuck and the Wizards of Tremblight before the Great Diffusion to ensure that both would have enough time to recover the powers they lost due to their participation in the Great Diffusion of 1247. Okay, so maybe we'll run into him. Um, Yar, that's like Tasha Yar from, from Star Trek. Definition, sailing term, archaic. See where the easy to handle, responsive, writes to the wind easily. So that's, that's, Yar, it sounds like what a pirate would say. Maybe that's the pun there. The Guardian. A mysterious figure semi-shredded in secrecy whose purpose is to keep Zorkian citizens and visitors honest and upright and to punish the fallible and fling their belongings to the four winds whenever appropriate. That does not sound very nice. Zork evil, Zork evil. The Return of Evil. This is the companion book to, to The Rise and Fall of Zork, edited by Mavis Peepers. Zork, The Return of Evil by Re Rebecca Snat will be available soon in neighborhood bookstores for a mere two Zork mids. So it's a fake book, apparently, unless uh, Zork mids probably were not. Oh, in the West Chamber Times, let's see what's going on, man. Wands Day, Jelly 18. Um, for new anti vulture warning system, n at the press conference held at the steps of City Hall, um, Rebecca Snoot graduates sui cum laude, yeah, I assume a cum laude joke. Miss Maver with, oh, hang on. Was that, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, so there's nothing more for that story, or it's somewhere else in the paper. Jam 21, um... Rebecca Snoot graduates sui come loudly. Miss Mavis Peeper stood at attention while short pupil Rebecca Snoot received her diploma. Rebecca plans to continue her anthropological studies and write books. Her father, Obi Obadiah Snoot IV, noted collector and farmer, looked on proudly. Well, good for him. Snoot farms fresh vegetables, always the best vegetables. Giant carrots by the bushel of the bag. Angus Pugby wins All Valley Cattle Roundup Best of Show. Good for him. Ben Fisherson's Boat Dock, featuring all new power boats for commerce or day sailors all year round. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, Boss Miller of West Shanbar drove his pickup truck into the river for the tenth time when questioned at the scene. Miller re replied, I was pressing the brake, but a bottle must have gotten wedged between the pedal and the floorboard. Upon hearing of Boo's latest accident, the mayor remarked, we've already revoked his license. Now what we need to revoke are his legs, his keys. Sorry. Um, okay, so we're done with that. God, I hope the next drawer doesn't have, um, that many articles in it. Okay, I guess it does. East Shanbar Times. Uh, Mudok's Arms and Armors of Spears, the headquarters of ITL and Murdoch's Army, both Armory, both located in East Shanbar, are the most recent inexplicable disappearances. They follow the heels of a disappearance of the historic inn of Isenau last month. A uh, frantic Madiam Mudok discovered the historic inn of Eisenhower's mysteriously disappeared and his wife along with it. Um, that's, you can't have a wife of an inn, but I assume it means, oh, his wife, the guy who's the, the uh, Madiam Mudok. We had just finished breakfast at the inn and I walked across the street to open my shop. I turned to say something to Molly and the whole block was gone. Madiam had moved in with his friend and partner, Rupert. The, ma the mayor vows recovery. General store closes and disappears on the same day. I can't take it anymore, says Will Swindle, ex-proprietor of the general store. But fate took a hand when, immediately upon tacking up his last notice, the building vanished. It's just as well, he shrugged philosophically. My clientele has been dwindling steadily. Gru's Day Dismember 14. Feeds Folly, commonly known as a cluster, is suspected to have been replaced with a fake cluster. The holy woman at Belnair Temple has expressed concern and asked for an inquiry. IT has been contracted to investigate. Probably figure out who ITL is. Mud Day. Uh, the headquarters, both, uh, they follow the heels. Okay, so this is, we're back to where we were. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and say, well, there's no need to say. Shanbar Library. Blueprints checked out by Canuck. Construction to begin in 1648. Okay, interesting. So they, don't, they haven't built one yet. Phoebo. Dwarven Minor discovered the cluster, also known as Phoebo's Folly. Embarrassed by the folly, he took to drink and missed a turn during a joyride in a mining cart. Parts of the mining cart and some of his wardrobe are enshrined at Bill in their temple. It's kind of kind of cruel. Um, uh, Phoebo's Folly is the, obviously, a football-sized concentration of aluminite that emitted strange sounds and energies found by the Dwarven Miner, Phoebo. 
set aside as a good luck symbol, and then when he anticipated, when the anticipated vein of aluminite failed to appear, was named Phoebo's Folly. Ultimately, aluminite became a dominant mining material. Uh, Phoebo did not live to see his discovery become a valued building material and light source. Renamed the cluster, and we just saw that, uh, that, uh, that article. In of ice enough, the thing that disappeared. Uh, built, inherited by Molly Mudok, uh, this year subsequently remodeled to suit her taste, and then apparently disappeared later. Survivor, it's a television show. A game of strategy involving two players in the guise of Wizard, Tremble, and Ma the Mage Canuck. The Wizard piece plays a compound move comprised of one straight and one diagonal move in one turn. The Canuck piece can move to any square on the board to block the Wizard's piece's movement. Whenever the Wizard piece vacates the square on the playing board, that square turns into a pit. The object of the game is to occupy the last remaining square on the board. That sounds vaguely interesting, like game theory. Belmere Temple. Ancient temple continuously occupied by unusually high <laughs> priestesses since BC before counting, so I guess UE, e, whatever the other one is, means after counting. Uh, the Cluster. Football. This is a duplicate. The football size concentration of pure luminite of all color. The luminance of the cluster never diminishes on view at Belmere Temple. See Phoebos Folly, blah, 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 blah. So we, okay, so we have Phoebo, Phoebos Folly, and Cluster 3D. I and TNL, what the hell is this? Illuminite, Transluminite, and Leisure Incorporated Company formed by the v Wizard Tremblight, Rupert, Madame Murdoch, and the Mage Canuck for the purpose of building an underground resort and the development of high technology commercial products. The first project of ITNL was Dizzy World. <laughs> Other projects include prototype Teleorb, lighting products, Illuminite magnets, and Illuminite batteries. So th there's some hint there that maybe the vultures have gotten hold of some Illuminite, or the buzzards, or whatever you want to call them. Illuminite. Glowing mineral mine by dwarves originally considered useless, see people's folly, now used extensively for building underground. Valued for its grew repellent qualities, manufacturing material used by ITL, Illuminite loses its glow when exposed to most sources of warmth, such as sunlight or body heat. Maximum illumination from this material can be obtained by placing it near radio speakers. What the hell? That doesn't even make sense. Kettle Muduck. Molly Kettle and Maddox were wed in the lobby of the Historic Inn at that day. So this is, we're building a little bit of story here. And that was the frickin' waste of frickin' time. Okay, so we've looked at all these frickin' doors. Can we, can we, can we take his, we can't take his badge. Um, we can't, mayor, mayor, mayor. We can't go up. All right, screw you, mayor. We're gonna, that was a frickin' waste of time. So now let's, can we, we can't go anywhere. For, yeah, let's go back into the street. I guess we'll, we'll visit this guy uh, next. Let's see who he is. Schoolhouse. PSAT? <laughs> That's a test. Bell. Door. Let's try the door first, like most people would. Knock, knock. Okay. So we have to ring the school bell. What? Yes, I can. Hang on. I'm going to bonk this. I'm going to throw something at it. Um... If I had a rock, I could throw it. I'm not going to... Can I cut down the, um... Pick up knife. Throw... Strike bell with a knife. Examine. Let's strike the bell with a knife. Wow! Okay, so what's bad here is I can't knock on the... I can't ring the bell myself. I have to do this. Miss Peepers... Oh, is she going to talk to me now? She's creepy. I probably shouldn't stab her to death, though. Well, you were late. It's all right, but don't let it happen again or it will be marked down in your permanent record. Tardiness. Good work, Heaven. I like that. First, we're going to have a little pop. Whoa! Fucking hell. I want to say November, but I'm pretty sure this is like, what is it in their stupid world? Uh, uh, uh. Can we get out of this? I should have saved, shouldn't I? Um... New remember? Uh, there's no way I'm gonna get this by chance. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, three failures and she doesn't kill you, does she? What 
the hell? You failed the test, now you must pay the price. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna load the uh, last save, which... I guess it's in one of those stupid papers that tells you what the stupid ninth month is. The eleventh month is. Um... That was brutal. Oh, wait a minute. Did I actually not save after this? I'm a moron. Although this technically doesn't really matter. Um, because all I did was read after that. Okay. Come on. Let me in, town hall mayor guy. I already know well, what I... No, shut up, I shut up. Shut up. Okay, drawer one. Ishanbar Times, October. So that's, I mean, it could be in theory the 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 name. Let's see, Augur, which sounds like August. I don't know if we we can just assume that's like Mage, which I guess is March. Dismember, October. God damn it pain in the ass. I wonder, someone said you could use your camera to take pictures of stuff, um, which maybe would make it easier so I, would have to, I wouldn't have to remember all this crap. Uh, okay, there doesn't appear to be dates on this. Um, are there only dates on the newspaper? So maybe that's what I need to do. I need to look at the West Chanbar Times. Jelly. That's probably July. Arch. Don't know what that is. Jam. Okay, hang on there. Oracle. Okay, there's something going on here that may be deeper than what I thought. Okay. So when do we know, um, how do we know which of these is which? And jelly, jam... There, there's something I'm missing here. Um, is there a calendar around here somewhere? I guess there might be. Um, let's even ask him about... Um, map? My knife? I don't know if he says anything to say about this, about this. Okay, he's not very talkative about my inventory. Tell me about... Tell me about what West Chandler. I'm easy to get a little paranoid around here. Vultures carrying people off, half the town disappearing. Ooh. Weird dream. <laughs> that was actually pretty helpful. It's a shame about the infrastructure of the valley. Ever since that thing started going downhill, travel has become very precarious. Okay. That is our keeper of the flame. The brave soul who lives all alone keeping an eye peeled for vultures. He's a trifle long-winded. The only way to get his attention is to put something right in front of his face. Which is what we did. So zoom out. Let's talk to this guy again. Can we ask him about the photos? I guess we asked him about the map. We can ask about the photos. Okay. And I doubt... Hey! Hey! I've been talking a long time! This used to be called the Valley of the... S hey! Hey! It's a good thing you knew the password. It's not safe out there. Ooh. Those buzzers will steal everything that's not nailed down. Sticky fingers. <laughs> I say magnetic. The other day, one of them flew by and my shovel flew off after it. That is our keeper of the flame. The brave soul who lives all alone, keeping an eye peeled for vultures. She's a trifle long-winded. 
The only way to get his attention is to put something right in front of his face. Okay. Hey, hey, clown. I'm talking to you. That is our keeper of the Okay, we get it, we get it. The brave soul who lives all alone, keeping an eye peeled for vultures. Okay, okay, screw him. He's a trifle long-winded. Yeah, you are too. The only too. way to get his attention is to put something right in front of his face. Okay. Wizard Tremble. There's only two people that I know so far. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of this. Um, so what we need is a calendar somehow. Um... If we just talk to him, he's not gonna... Well, a new constituent! I'm the mayor of Sambar. Glad to meet you! Okay. Let's see. Suspender. I, the only thing I can do is guess that these names are the correct, uh, you know, September. Okay, so that's not very exciting. Um, I guess, no, this is, all right, so clearly I can go to the other, um, places obviously, but let's see if we can find the freaking 11 month, the 11th month. Okay, this isn't talking about dates. This is the bizarre toasting etiquette. These are in the muses, gazpacho, forboshio, great diffusion, maybe it has a date on it. Uh, okay, no, it doesn't. Oh, here it is, The Guardian. Oh, no, it's not a newspaper. <laughs> there is a newspaper called The Guardian. Um, so it might be Jelly or Jam. Or Arch. Or something freaking otherwise. Okay, we're going to go somewhere else now instead of talking to that stupid school teacher. All teachers, by the way, are stupid. Those who can do, those who can't teach, those who can't teach go into politics. Alright, so now let's go over to this guy. Well, let's do this guy first. I guess we'll be consistent. Alrighty. Ooh. Gift shop. <laughs> Why do you have a gift shop? Ooh. Can we just break in? Okay, hang on, what happened to my mouse? I think something bad happened. Anyway, it is, uh, blah, blah, blah. Pomodoro time, back in two and two. And we're back. I realize you guys can't see the chat today, so um, um, I can just tell you there's nothing there. I don't think there's anyone even here except for me. Let me check, though. Well, okay, me, Nightbot, and Commander Root, who is a fake. All right, let's go back to the game. All righty, so I cannot appear... Ooh, can I use one of my inventory items on the door? Photos, map. Ah, I could maybe pry the door open with my knife. Knock. Throw knife at door. <laughs> you missed. <laughs> no, I didn't miss, but okay. Um, 
Okay, apparently I'm not allowed to go in here, so we're just for right now. So let's go back and try this thing, which looks like it's already open. Um, hardware store. Does not look open either. Oh, actually the door is partially open, so there's no way to stop me from going in. Oh. This is a really ugly looking hardware. Okay, we can't go anywhere from here. But, oh yeah, let's, let's pick up some inventory. I don't even know where to crank it. Oh, nice. Hey, wait a minute. Well, I saw I saw something else. Uh, a uh, box. Let's open this box. Ooh, I need to look at it at some point. Um, now there's some rats here. Can't really do much with them. Come on, you goddamn rats! I want to mess with you. Not in a kinky sexual way, although that would be interesting. They're like uh, gerbils, but a little bit better. Um, okay. I'm going to open with the box in my inventory. It's, I'm just... Uh, wait. No, no. Freaking box box. Uh, throw box. Put box in inventory. Examine box. Okay, this might actually have some... Oh, god damn it. The people really are not very exciting. Um, I will... Okay. So I'm now carrying on a freaking box. And I'm not very happy. Okay, and I'm going to go back from the hardware store. I think these are the only four places you can go from here. I mean, aside, aside from back where you came from. Um, so let's go back to where we came from. This is a bridge. Oh, it's a bridge, so we can go on the other... I'm pretty sure it's a broken bridge, right? When we... When we first went there. No, come on! Oh, come on, that is not cool. Motherfuckers. Oh, actually, it didn't... Okay. Did you try to do something with the bridge? So it actually did ask. Okay, now I gotta be careful, because some of the stuff that I did hasn't actually happened per se. Um... Now, I'm going to... I cannot do this. Um, I built a raft. I wonder what else I can do with this. Can I use the raft? I cannot use the raft on this. Now, it did give me a hint here when I killed myself. It said... Did you forget or something? Did you have to try to across the bridge. Pun, because it is only half a bridge. But I bet you anything we can cross it if we have, um, something. And also, I probably need to do a better save somewhere, but it, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Alright, so we're at the bridge. Interestingly enough, we don't, um, let's look at the bridge again. Map, photos, knife, I could burn the bridge. That'd be fun. You shouldn't burn your bridges, but in this case, maybe you should. All right. So we can't go over there. Okay. So I think the only thing I can do next is wait. That is going to the hard right. Yeah, that is going to this uh, this hardware store. Okay. Um, so th I think we need to go to the school next. The question is, what is the eleventh month? Uh, how do we find the eleventh month? Um, uh, do we cheat here? Is there a way to find the eleventh month? Is that like just one of the things that the game, like an Easter egg that the g you have to get right in order to play the game? I don't know. But I'm going to cheat now, and you can't see me cheating, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. Um... Turn to Zork, 11th month. I uh, Hopefully that's going to be a... Um, flathead calendar. Now, I'm going to cheat here. Uh, the calendar. Um... Wait 
a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. November is apparently an alternate name for it. Mum Burr Burr. So it's M U M B E R B U R. Let me go ahead and write that down somewhere where we can see it. Actually, I don't know if I can do that. I'll put up a little X message for myself. Now, well, I'll just I'll just remember it. Um, Mum Burr Burr. The question is, is there a way to know this? Um, so would it be like the great, um, so it says the great underground empire. Well, a new um, so I'm curious if you could know this without having extra information. Okay, I guess not. I mean, you probably can, I just can't figure out why. So I, I feel bad already that I'm cheating. This is cheating number one. Wait. I'm in the wrong place. The schoolhouse is across the, ho the hall from the... Um this time you're just going to get it from... Oh, actually she doesn't remember me. Um... Yo, bitch. There we go. I probably shouldn't stab her. Let's see what happens if I try to stab her. Ho ho! Show knife. <laughs> there you go. Okay. So let's. Oh, we can ask her stuff too. You're late. It's all right, but don't let it happen again or it'll be marked down in your permanent record. Tardiness. Good work, Heaven. I like that. First, we're going to have a little pop quiz. Oh, geez. There's no way to stop her from doing that. Okay, I'm going to cheat and check again, which means I have to get out of this. Mum, burr, burr. Mum, burr, burr. What? Oh, shit. Fourth day of the week. Okay. This has to be like one of those things that makes sure you bought the book along with it. Um, so I'm going to see. Okay. The fourth day of the week one, two, three, is Wands Day. Oh, interesting. What? Birthday? I wonder what the message is going to be here. You failed the test. Now you must pay the price. Okay, we get it. Okay, bridge. Hopefully the bitch will ask me another question now. I maybe should, like, save after I do this. So I think there's no way around this. Um, well, you were late. It's all right, but don't let it happen again or it'll be marked down in your permanent record. Oh, can we ask her about shit? I get the feel... Oh, no, no, that's not what we want to do. I will put my knife back in the inventory. A little bit rude. Well, you were late. Okay, I'm going to ask her about shit. Let's ask her about the map. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, so she's not really very map worthy. Of course she won't. Alright, let's ask her about, I don't think she cares about the recordings. Let's see if we can ask her about my knife. Teleorb? The, uh, she won't. I think we're going to have to answer her question. I don't think we're going to be able to get any further with her until we answer her question. Well, you were late. It's all right, but don't let it happen again or it will be marked down in your permanent record. Tardiness. I haven't been a teacher all these years without learning how to deal with upstarts and bullies. I want you to type, I will not <laughs> have a bully, three times. One. Wow. Two. Oops. Three. Very good. Now you won't do that again, will you? Jesus fucking Christ, bitch. Well, you were late. It's all right, but don't let it happen again or it'll be marked down in your permanent record. Tardiness. Good work, Heaven. I like that. First, we're going to have a little pop Damn it! The Amulet of Agathora played in a role in the defeat of Jareer. Okay. Uh, Alright, give me a second here. I think, I think I'm getting sick to death of this. Um, I assume the game gets more interesting at some point. Uh, I've been streaming for an hour and six minutes, and I think I'm sick to death of this, so I'm going to stop streaming this. Uh, thank you for watching, and I may stream later today something totally different.